Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, March 29th. Can't believe how fast this time is going. Anyway, um, I hope you're all well. I actually got up at 5 this morning. I know. I just have a shift with that company at like 2, but I have to go and um, hang out with another client this morning. So I also have to, sometimes I procrastinate (laughs) the dumbest things. Like one is, hey, let's get an invoice ready so that you can get paid. What do I do? I just take my time. Oh, man, snap out of it. So anyhow, I kind of tackled that. I have like a bunch of notes all over the place. I've been going over there here and there and, you know, started keeping track of things on scrap paper and yeah, really mature in the world of business. But anyway, I uh, got it done. Put it into an email. Um, I'm not finished yet, um, but I still have more work to do. So I'll end up giving it to them eventually. It's not like they're going anywhere. The building's still there. <laughs> anyway, um, as I was farting around and um, organizing my desk, and all my receipts and things and sort of just looking to see okay what orders have to be delivered and what do I still have to do you know going over my finances and looking at everything that's fantastic in my life um, I came across something that I have out I won't I'm not going to say what it is but um, I look at it every day something someone wrote for me and um, it's one of the nicest things that's ever been written for me. And so I look at, yeah, I just have it everywhere. Um, but anyhow, today, like in this person, like we have family members. They don't really talk to us a lot or, you know, just sort of ignore us. And, you know, whether they're brother, sister, you know, it could be someone who gave birth to Um, everyone has their own reason for wanting to have their space. And you know what? That's okay. So do we take it as rejection or like, I don't really know how you look at it. You know, I guess it doesn't matter how you look at it. It's just you look at it and you have to remember that, um, blood is thicker than water. Maybe it's, Sometimes people will treat you like sticky because um, you're very close. They know you're never going to go away, but sadly, we do. Like, case in point, like my dad, he went away. Never, ever saw him again. I feel his presence, and I can tell when he's hanging out with me, but you know what? Never in a million did I think that that day would come to, like, see my father, you know, gone so the words that he gave me these little gifts that they give you that will live on it's like blood is thicker than water and he actually said this um, when I was pregnant with my son I was 19 and um, yeah wasn't a great story about that relationship but anyway um, I was seeing a private counselor um, because I was going to be doing a private counselor, a counselor because I was going to be doing a private adoption where I could choose the parents because I was young and dumb. And um, hmm, can I raise a child? Probably not the best idea. So yeah, there are plenty of people who love children and can't have them. So I thought, yeah, I'll do a mature thing and I will go to counseling, choose, um, parents and to give this child a great life so my parents came to me and my dad said you know blood is thicker than water um, because he really wanted me to keep the baby but I was trying to be smart and really think about this so on New Year's Eve that year I gave the announcement and said I'm keeping the baby and yes he still is my little baby all 38, all 38 years old of him, 
Does that even make sense? All 38 years old. Anyway, um, yeah, my little baby, Jeremy, who I call Jerome. Call him actually a lot of things, um, funny things. And, um, you know, at one point, he almost went away. So we really do have to value that time that we have with others. And it's, for me, it's more important, like, people don't have to go through uncomfortable situations. They just need to have conversations. Why they, have co why they don't have conversations is beyond me. Like, what is going to happen? What is the worst case? You may cry. I know. It's brutal. You may cry. And you know what? When you cry, you shed those tears. You shed a lot of things. A lot of stuff comes out of your body when you hold the resentment and you hold it in. Um, sometimes it even causes disease. Dis-ease. You're uneasy about something. Dis-ease. It physically can make your body sick. So for me, I reach out. I try this and that. If people are not receptive, then that's okay. That's on them. You wish them well. You love them in spite of everything. Love doesn't mean it's always easy. Love is love because you don't give up and you keep trying.